It's Tuesday. It is the 23rd of August, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. It is my daughter's 20th birthday. Happy birthday! You may have heard of this. I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, some people may not. And and I I, I figured I'll I'll let you know. There was an earthquake in Virginia, and it rattled some buildings, and people panicked, and they were frightened. What are you doing? Now, mind you, I've lived in California, and you know where the ground does that on regular basis is. Basis. So, you know, but in all honesty, stop joking around with this one. Um, 5.6 is a fairly strong earthquake. And anyway, for the type of things you have in California, that'd be considered an aftershock. But by and large, for an area like Virginia, um, you know, it's a substantial little shaker. So. Uh, I'm sure all of you survived and uh, enjoy your experience. You will be talking about it for the rest of your life. And that's all I have to say for today. A little bit like Forrest Gump. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, August 24th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. Welcome. I was just watching WGN this morning. And uh, their news broadcast was slightly annoying because it is 100% fluff. It finally occurred to me that the reason for this is simply that the demographic that used to watch Ray Rayner and Friends, which was a two-hour, I think, cartoon program in the 60s and 70s, and I think it might have gone into the 80s, I'm not real sure. Uh, have grown up, of course. And now, they've got the same audience share. They're just a little older. So they have a more mature setting. <laughs> and of course, it's news. But since it's morning, it's all fluff. So the spirit of Ray Rayner still lives on WGN in Chicago. God bless him. <laughs> That's it for the morning. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it must be a bad day for technology. I was reading this this afternoon. It must be a bad week for the Russians and their launch vehicles. They launched one of the grocery rockets for the space station today. Third stage misfired and went crashing into the woods. Mind you, the police... And tell people to stay away from it because of the contamination of the rocket fuel. So they ain't having a real good time with their space program these days. Oh well, what can you say? It's Cliff Potts, I'll talk to you later. Hey gang, it's Thursday, 25th August 2011. Welcome again. Kind of figured something out as I was sitting here. Letting my brain kind of veg out. People are generally attracted to those who are like them. So, as with my demographics, uh, the majority of folks that actually watch these videos are within a few years of my age, you know, somewhere around late 40s, early 50s. And I'm definitely closing in on the mid 50s. Now, I don't know if you're like me, especially if you're working, especially if you're working now. <laughs> Energy levels for chasing all those trends, if you will, just aren't there anymore. You're kind of tired, kind of worn out, kind of, you know, doing our own, just doing it. As they used to say, just keep on trucking. That's what we're doing. And it's getting harder and harder to do so. <laughs> I 
Uh, as you know, big news out of Apple. Jobs is stepping down. He's got cancer and it's killing him. That's what it boils down to. What can I say? I mean, all good things come to an end. The way of all flesh. Remember, man, that thou art dust, and unto that dust thou shalt return. As is said. What will happen to Apple? That's yet to be seen. Now, I'll give you this. Apple has got itself on a good path. Solid path now. It's no longer trying to be everything to everybody. And if it continues with that path, then ultimately, that'll be Jobs' legacy. But you know, that's just my opinion. Hey, I'll catch you later. Tomorrow's another day. It's Friday, August 26, 2011. It's Cliff Potts. Got one real quick thing to say this morning, just because of some stuff that popped up on Facebook. If the U.S. government was trying to kill off the people of the United States through chemtrails, then most of us would be dead already, especially as long as this has been going on, according to the conspiracy theorist. Uh, folks, if it was real, it'd be happening. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Now, before the sever September 17th uh, occupation of Wall Street, it looks like the Earth itself is giving the East Coast, specifically New York, a hard way to go. We started this broadcast with a story about a five-point-something earthquake out of Virginia, and as we speak, there is a hurricane bearing down on the New Jersey shores. At least that's the last information I had about it. So, I guess Mother Nature is softening up the target before the occupation occurs. There's not much else to tell you today. It is Friday. Shabbat Shalom. It's the end of a work week. Looking forward to the weekend myself. And with that, I say, as always, may your God go with you. I will talk to you later.